Hey guys, what's going on? It's Constantine, aka Smart Guy Commentaries, and this is my uh, this is another video. After the Giants won the Super Bowl, of course. Who said they would win? I said they would win. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, this is a gameplay. Uh, Thirty and two on Villa. I'm using the FAMAS, but I really don't give a shit because I'm just gonna use whatever gun I want. And um, if you don't like me using the FAMAS, give the video a thumbs down. I don't. Ratings are ratings, and. Uh, if you don't like it, I, I want to know if you guys don't like it. But anyway, I'd like to start off by saying uh, the winner of the points card. Uh, I went to a random number generator and came up with I'm Stubble. I-M-S-T-U-B-B-L-E as the winner. So send me a PM. Uh, and I'll get. I'll try to get the card for you on Monday, but uh, I will get the card for you by no later than next video. And also leave a comment if you'd like to see videos every Saturday like I'm currently doing. Or if you'd like to see every videos, uh, videos every Saturday and Tuesday. So like twice a week. And uh, one more thing, I posted a try commentary. It's pretty damn funny with some friends. Uh, link in the description. It's uh, yeah, we just like Skype called and answered like asked these ridiculous questions like can fat people go skinny dipping? And we like all gave our opinions and stuff. So uh, it's funny stuff like that. And uh, also, I have a Twitter, so you should follow me on Twitter at uh, SmartCod Commentaries. And here's the fun fact of the video before we get into the uh, into the gameplay and commentary. Uh, there's a word for when you feel like you can't finish taking a shit, like when you're not done taking a dump and you have to like go more. It, it's called rectal tenesmus, and that's like the feeling you have that you're not completely finished. Anyway, okay, so with that in mind, let's get into the commentary. Uh, what are holidays? Uh, holidays are days that are recognized as specific day or time period when people remember and celebrate certain events. For example, Christmas is a day that celebrates what uh, what is commonly known as Jesus Christ's birthday though it's not exactly known when his birthday is, but it's believed to be December 25th. And kids get the week off from school, and most businesses close to remember the day and celebrate and give gifts. So um, you could create your own holiday. And uh, if you sent in a letter to your local congressman with a valid holiday to celebrate, now if he thinks it's a valid, good idea, in a couple of years, uh, he'll post it on the agenda for Congress, and in a couple of years, if it does get uh, reached on the agenda, Congress will discuss it, and if it's passed, it all works out, um, and you'll have a holiday that you created um, but good luck trying to create a holiday uh, there are also not no such thing as a national mandated like holiday in the United States where every single person in the US is forced not to work think about it uh, like Christmas last year uh, in Christmas there were a couple stores and restaurants that you could go to and if Christmas was a national holiday they would not be allowed to open and everyone yes everyone would not be allowed to work uh, so they have to take a day off from work uh, also, many holidays are associated with religious beliefs and different religions, which is why it's tricky for the U.S. government to declare a holiday a national holiday rather than be able to recognize one as a holiday instead, just to recognize it instead of make it national. And uh, Valentine's Day is coming up, so I thought I'll talk about Valentine's Day. It started with a guy named Valentine, and uh, he was believed to be secretly marrying young couples, like wedding them together, and supposedly helping people escape from jails where they were being wrongfully held and, and tortured. And while he was in jail, he supposedly had a lover who just happened to be the daughter of the jail guard that was watching him. So um, she would visit, regularly visit him in jail, and just before he was put to death for all the couples he illegally married and escapees he helped, he gave her a love letter which was signed, From Your Valentine. This phrase is used pretty often today, and um, and let's see. I wrote, I wrote this whole thing on um, text edit, and uh, this phrase is commonly used today, and many couples... Uh, would be couple or would be couples celebrate by giving gifts, cards, flowers, chocolate to people they care about. Also, if you're born in November, consider the fact that you may have been conceived on Valentine's Day, seeing as November is nine months after Valentine's Day. Uh, another holiday that's coming up pretty, pretty soon is April Fool's Day. So, April Fool's Day is thought to have started in the 1500s in France. So, um, before the 1500s, there was a calendar that was used all over Europe which started uh, on April 1st. So up until 1500, a calendar started um, in Europe. The calendar started on April 1st as opposed to January 1st. However, um, let's see. There was a king in 1562, I believe. Uh, the no uh, Let's see what his name is here. Mm -mm -mm. I lost my place. God damn it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, however, the King Charles the Ninth of France, yeah, King Charles the Ninth of France, made a new calendar in which January first was the start of the new year. Sorry for that 
long delay. Um, yeah, so some people refused to accept it as the new year, and uh, although many went along with the king, some people stayed with April 1st as the true start of the new year. And on this day, people were called April Fools for sticking to their their traditional first day of the year. And people played pranks and tricks on them and, and made jokes about them, and that's kind of why um, it's called April Fool's Day. And uh, I know I talked to one person who thought that... Holy shit! This is the first time I've been down. I've been I'm in this little tiny closet down here, and uh, it, it. By the way, for making commentaries on like a laptop or something, the best place to go is a small little closet so there's no echo. And uh, I, I I I left my notes from the last commentary down here. Huh. Yeah. So uh, uh, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Um. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. Oh yeah. Some people believe that Valentine's Day. I mean, same. Uh, uh, April Fool's Day started. <laughs> April Fools they started on April 1st because a guy was like a jokester and a, and a prankster and he played these like jokes and stuff and he was put to death on April 1st in like Switzerland or something and, that, and that's not true. Uh so yeah. Uh if you saw the video up until this point, leave a comment saying deep fryer because that's what I have right next to me and leave comments and ideas for future videos. I love reading the comments you guys leave. Literally, it's the most exciting like thing. I love doing that. Um, and I also want to thank you guys for 132 subscribers. Um, I will talk to you guys later. And uh, have a good week, guys. Peace. Giants are the best. <laughs> oh, man.